Well, welcome to this uh, Bonsell on Expert Witness video on a really important subject, which is professional indemnity insurance. And I'm delighted to welcome Gary Horswell of Integrity, who is a specialist in this area. Gary, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, well, I spent most of my career working in professional negligence insurance uh, for a wide range of professions, really, Mark. Um, started out surveyors, construction, and then moved on to financial services, uh, lawyers, accountants, and, and of course, experts as well, which we've been working with for the last 14, 15 years. So, so yeah, I, I know you've been working with Bonsolo for at least 14 years now, which is, which yeah. is great. Let's start with the basics. What is professional indemnity insurance? Okay, um, well, in simple terms, it's a liability insurance policy that sets out to protect the policyholder in the event that they're pursued for some breach of professional duty. Um, and of course, experts, since the case of Jones and Kenny, are liable both in contract and negligence for the opinion proffered. So it's, it's, it is really important, isn't it? Very much so, very much so. It's important to bear in mind that without the insurance, uh, you know, an individual professional uh, in any walk of life, could be exposed to risk from their own resources. So um, they might need to sell the house. Potentially, yes, it has happened. And yeah. now, a lot of expert witnesses will say, well, actually, I've got insurance for my day job. Why would I need cover for my expert witness work? Isn't that covered? Uh, in, in some cases, it may well be. Um, policy wordings do vary. There's a lot of similarity, but there are a lot of differences. So they um, need to check their policies very carefully. You need to look at the small print very carefully. How do insurers assess the risk for a particular expert? Uh, well, they, they first of all take into account the type of profession that's involved. Um, medical professions that feature quite prominently are, are considered to differ in risk terms compared to, say, an architect or an engineer. Um, but beyond that, um, it, it, it's, um, it's really a question of looking at the scale of the business in terms of the fee income, uh, whether there have been any claims. Those are the main drivers. And, and what risks does the policy cover? Um, predominantly, it's professional negligence, but there are some other uh, risks that are picked up. Things like breach of confidentiality, breach of copyright, uh, defamation, um, sometimes loss of documentation, if that's key. Um, so, but, but most of the cover is aimed at the pure professional negligence risk. Now, over the past two or three years, there's been several quite large claims against uh, expert witnesses, cost orders, for example. How has how these matters affected the premiums payable? Uh, well, up until now, premiums haven't moved a great deal in recent times. Certainly insurers are aware of these cases and um, we are noticing more involvement uh, or, or certainly more PI claims where experts' roles are being mentioned. So it's on the radar. Um, insurers will reserve judgment, really, Mark, until uh, they start to see claims coming in against experts sure. where claims are made. But at the moment, no major sea change in attitude, thankfully. What happens if a, an individual expert, you know, the, the amount of work they do as expert witnesses increases? Do they need to notify the insurer or and will that affect the premium uh, well, payable? Th there is a natural cycle with these policies anyway, in as much as each year policyholders have to update their insurer. And that's the point at which you would normally tell your uh, your underwriter that you, you've um, increased the business substantially. Um, the premium, though, is calculated on the past year's actual fee income. So um, the insurers do tend to naturally have the opportunity to review the risk at each renewal, but there is no requirement. Uh, you, you know, if business is, is moving up by 20%, 30%, 40%, there's no requirement in the middle of the policy year to tell the insurer that that is happening. I see, because it will be reflected at the annual yeah. renewal. Absolutely. Absolutely right. Of course, many experts will 
be trained in their day job is the day job and then the work as the expert witness they're trained to be a doctor or whatever it is and continuing professional development what do, how do insurers view training for the expert witness work um well bearing in mind that it's kind of taken as a, a given that um anyone who puts themselves forward as an expert is, is pretty experienced and knowledgeable in their respective fields um I think insurers generally would welcome any kind of risk improvement, but um, the insurers we work with have certainly taken on board the, the value and benefit of having that training as an expert. Um, that's, that's the missing piece, really. Uh, and I think what um, Bon Solon have, has supplied uh, over the years, insurers have been very impressed by. And in fact, they've translated that into some significant premium discounts. And the final question is, uh, experts are often concerned if they retire, for example, how long does the cover last for an expert witness under these policies? Um, well, it, it, it's one of the fundamental differences, for example, for the medical professions, where um, perhaps runoff cover is approached slightly differently. Um, typically, professional indemnity policies have to be maintained in force. Uh, for as long as there is exposure. And that's more of a legal question than an insurance question. Sure. The key thing to bear in mind is, as, as soon as you let a professional indemnity policy expire or lapse or decide not to renew it, if a claim comes in later, then if there is no cover, there's no live policy, then that is uninsured. That is why you have to keep the policy rolling on what we call a runoff basis to cover that diminishing risk. So just to sum up, professional indemnity insurance for expert witness work is really important, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I couldn't, um, personally speaking, I wouldn't uh, practice without insurance of this nature. We live in such a litigious society nowadays that um, uh, it, it's, it's essential in my view. Um, and people can find you as Integrity or via the Bon Solon website. Absolutely. Well, Gary, thank you so much for your time and thanks for your wonderful work with us and uh, thanks for your explanations today. Thank you very much for watching as well.